Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dopemotions.com and welcome to this brand new video. Now recently, I was working on one of my After Effects tutorial and while I was working on this tutorial, I was going through some references and images for, you know, for design stuff. And while I was going through the web, I came across this really nice abstract gradient background design which I thought look really really cool and I wanted to show you guys how to exactly create this because it's super simple and looks super cool. So today let's create this really nice gradient abstract background design inside of Adobe Illustrator using some very simple steps. I am Nikhil from Dope Motions and without any further ado let's get started. Alright, so here we are in Adobe Illustrator and you have created a new document with the size of 1920 by 1080. You have my color palette and the project file will be provided to you guys. The link will be in the description to download the free project file so you can use the same exact gradient. But if you want to use any different gradient, you are free to use that one as well or you can combine different color of gradients to create a very unique look. The complete idea of this design is that you can create any abstract design with using any, you know, with using any kind of abstract colors and make it look really, really cool. So let's start actually with the video. So I'll select the rectangular tool and I've selected my gradient color. So I'll create a background layer just like that. There we go. There we have our background. Now I want to tweak the gradient a bit in every different shape depending on the look I want to go with. So I'll select the gradient tool, I'll zoom out and then I can tweak it according to my requirements. I'm going to keep it somewhere around there and bring the light blue color even more into the background just like so. So yep, that is Awaz Matkar. So yeah, that is looking good. Let's start building up our shape. Now, if you don't have the curvature tool in your illustrator, which I guess if you're using the illustrator CS4 or CS6, I'm not really sure about that. If you don't have the curvature tool, you can select the pen tool and click and drag to create a smooth curvy shape. But yes, this is going to take much more time to tweak and adjust it depending on the look you want to go with. But if you have the curvature tool, use the curvature tool because it is super awesome to create this kind of shapes. So I'll select the curvature tool and all I need to do is just click like that to create a shape like that. And I can anytime tweak it depending on the kind of look I want to go with. So maybe something like that. Maybe tweak this one a bit and try to create the shape using as less points as possible because that is going to make the shape look more smooth and natural. So I'll maybe scale this a bit like that and yep that is looking good. Let's select the layer and switch the gradient. So I'll click on this icon reverse gradient and there we go. Select the gradient tool or you can simply hit G on the keyboard. That is the shortcut for the gradient tool. I'll rotate this. Keep it maybe something like that. Looks um, pretty good to me. And then select both the layers that is our background and the shape. Hit shift M on the keyboard which is going to select the shape builder tool. Hold alt and delete this shape. And now we have this really interesting look. Now I can select this layer. Hit control C, control F to copy paste it on the top. I can rotate it holding shift and then I can place it somewhere around like that. Now you can tweak the shape depending on the look you want to go with. So I can maybe keep it just a touch and you can select the shape, the curvature tool again and adjust it if you want to. So I can delete the point if I want to. I can adjust this. I can delete this point as well. I can add points if I want to, so I can create a really nice and a bit different shape. And I'm doing it very roughly. You can take your time as this is an abstract effect. You don't need to be very precise while doing it, but just be satisfied. Once you're satisfied with the look, you can hop on to the next shape. Now let's select the curvature tool again. 
and this time I'm going to use the black and white gradient. So I'll select the black and white gradient and set the transparency to, I guess it was the overlay. Yep. And then I can build up a different shape. So I'll start right over from here. I'm doing it very randomly. So something like once you create the rough shape, you can then adjust the shape. So you don't need to be very precise as I'm saying it again and again, but you get the idea. And I can create maybe something like that. And again, I can select the layer, select the background layer, select shift M or select the shape builder tool. Oh, make sure the layers are selected. Shift M to select the shape builder tool, hold alt and delete it. And then select the layer go into transparency and set this to overlay and we get this really cool look but the gradient is not proper as you can see so to fix this what i can do is i'm going to select the gradient and select the gradient tool and you can play around with this effect a bit so i'll drag it out like so so yep that is looking much better i think Maybe it's a bit too big, so I'll make it a bit smaller, like so. No, I think I'll go with this. And the same thing I'm going to do right over here as well. So I'll select the curvature tool and I can just randomly create a shape that I want to go with. Something like that and try to keep it a bit more curvy. So recently I, you know, went to watch this movie called Alita, which was really nice actually. Some very interesting CG animation and really great work. So if you have watched it, do let me know in the comment section. Anyways, I'll select the shape and the background. Select the shape builder tool, hit shift M and hold alt to delete it. Make sure the shape is selected, go into transparency and set this to overlay. So we get this really cool look. Maybe you can tweak the shape a bit. It's a bit too big. Something like that. And yeah, that is looking pretty great actually. I can also select this shape and maybe tweak this a bit. Yep, that is looking very nice actually. Now let's add some more shape elements to the top left and the bottom right corner so select the shape builder tool again and you can either use the same copies if you want to but i'm just going to show you how to create this because it's super simple and super fun to create the shapes so something like that i can add some more points to get a different look maybe something like that shift m the same exact thing There we go. As you can see, this is looking pretty good. Maybe I can switch the gradient to see if we can get a different look. I can go into the gradient tool actually and maybe I'll just rotate it. Something like that and then place it like so. So something like that. And yeah, I think this is looking actually pretty good. There we go. This is looking really great actually. So now what I'm going to do is select the shape, hold alt and drag it to create a new copy, rotate it holding shift. So that it snaps in like that and place it right over here. Now, if you want, you can create a completely different copy, but I think this looks good. So I'm going to go with that. You can reverse up the gradient if you want to. I'll go into the gradient tool and I can play around with some gradient settings. So basically I'll move it like that. So yeah, that is looking great actually. Okay, so now let's go ahead and add some element to our design. So I'm going to add the ellipse or circle to this element. So I'll select it and selecting the eyedropper tool, I can select the gradient that we have. 
I'm going to place it maybe something like that. If I want, I can rotate it. Maybe just like um, so. All right. And set this to, I guess, overlay should look good. That is a bit too intense. So I'll go with maybe a soft light. Yep, that looks much better. Maybe increase the size of the circle holding shift. There we go. Okay, so this is looking good. Let's select it. Select the background, shape builder tool, and hold Alt and delete it. Make this really nice circular element to our design. And basically, I'm going to add some more similar elements right here. So I'll select it, I'll place it, rotate it like that. Maybe add one more right over here. Just like so. And one more, I'll add one right here, making it really small, I think, like that looks good. And then I can select these three elements, go into the Shape Builder tool, hold Alt and delete them just like that. So it's looking pretty good. Let's select the smaller circle and add some small elements. You can rotate it into a different position to get a different look at the gradient. So yeah, I think this is looking pretty good. Let's actually select the curvature tool and create one more shape for our text, which I absolutely forgot to create. So I'm gonna create it now. So something like that. I'll try to come up with a really cool look here. Um, I think this looks pretty good. I'm gonna select the gradient tool, rotate it. Maybe I'll keep it just like that. Pull this up. And maybe something like this looks good to me. Then let's actually select a circle add it right over here bring it on the top by hitting ctrl shift and close square bracket and set this to soft light this really interesting look and then i can select the circle add some circular elements here and there to add a really nice look so you can hold alt and just drag and drop it there we go, looking good. I think this circle isn't looking that great, so I'll delete it. And maybe rotate this circle in a similar direction. Okay, that is looking good. Now, what I'm going to do is add some patterned elements to this design. So I'll select the ellipse, create an ellipse just like that. Make sure it's selected. Go right here and go into patterns basic graphic and basic graphic lines and i'm gonna add this line set that we have now to add some color to this i can close this up now and go right over here make sure this is set to an arrow and not on a line if it if it is set to line it won't allow you to change the color of the pattern so make sure to click it and set it to arrow then just double click to open that up and then set this to white hit ok or any color actually that you want but white looks good to me so yeah that is that let's set this to soft light there we go rotate it at 45 degrees now it's not going to rotate because we need to select it go into object and expand hit ok and now rotate it Let's select it and add some elements. So I'll select it. Now it's a bit difficult to select it because we have expanded it. So I'll increase the size a bit. Let's select it. Place it right over here. Bring this small, nice. And now you can basically add any elements that you want. So firstly, I'll add the text. So I'm gonna tap in just as the example that we had. And for the font, I will be using my one of my favorite font that is the Montserrat. Go with maybe a bold and make it white. Let's make it nice and small. Align it into the center. Right 
and there we go that is looking pretty great let's create a duplicate and for this one i'll go with a medium or maybe let's go with a regular call this background again align it into the center and we'll bring this a bit to the okay there we go and now i can add some very small elements for example like a maybe a triangle we don't want any fill we just need the stroke for this one so i'll set this to maybe something like that two pixels looks good and i can just select it and actually zoom in drag it make it really small increase the stroke size to maybe three pixels and set the blending mode to overlay so you can now copy this up increase the size if i want to copy this up again rotate this up oh you should select it and basically adding some really random abstract elements you can also create an x which i think looks pretty good so i'll make it a fill Control C, Control F to copy paste it on the top or in the front. Select it, Control G, rotate it. Make this really small like that. And add it here and there to get the desired look. Now it's very abstract, so you can place it anywhere that you want. And you can basically select the X and set the blending mode to overlay. And there we have a very nice abstract looking background design. So I hope this really simple and easy tutorial was helpful to you. And if it was, then make sure to subscribe, comment and like this video and follow me on Instagram at dope.motions. I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to stay raw, stay creative.